Hello once again and welcome to another episode of my life experiences. I'm your host Nyanewa Sosola Wezi. This is the last one in my series on management of money. So I've I've done two episodes already. So this management uh, lesson is targeted on the new rewards as this is the summer season. It's a wedding season, especially in this part of the world. In Malawi in particular, people are getting married all the way up to December. So I was just giving some tips on how to manage money. And one of the things that we, we talked about was budgeting. We talked about short-term budgeting, and now I would like to talk about long-term budgeting. What are the things that we should consider when you are doing long-term budgeting? So long-term budgets, you budget for things, capital spending, like you want to buy a sofa set for your house, you want to buy um, a fridge, you want to buy a car, you want to buy a plot or a house, whatever capital uh, spending is to you, those big, big spending that you can't afford to do it in a month. That is what we call capital spending. So when you are doing that, make sure that before you do the procurement decision, you do a very good research on prices, go to shops twice, even three times, just to compare the prices and also negotiate for discounts just to get the best deal out of the procurement. The other thing on long-term loan that I want to talk about is that you have to, to, to do savings. Every month, make sure that you save up some money, have a savings account. It comes handy when you want to make big procurements or when you are in an emergent need for you to avoid borrowing unnecessarily. If you've got a saving, it helps you a lot to buy big procurements and also in emergency situations. And the other thing that I want to tip you on long-term planning, make sure that you get your family registered with um, a medical scheme. It's very important. In the short term, it may appear as if it's a loss, that you are losing the money when you are paying the premiums. But when somebody falls sick in your family, you don't borrow because the medical scheme covers you. So it's important. Research, go to various, various um, medical uh, schemes, uh, research who is making the best uh, offer and uh, make your decision belong to one medical scheme or the other. It will cover you in your time of need. Another thing, long-term planning, plan for your children's fees, plan for your children's education, and register them in schools that you can afford. Avoid the competition with other people, whether they are taking them to expensive private schools. Don't be in a competition with anybody. Take your kids to schools that you can afford um, to avoid the embarrassment uh, and disruption to your children's education in case you fail to, to pay your school fees the children may be let out so to spare you that embarrassment and disruption of the children put them in the schools that you can afford and you plan that beforehand the other thing on long-term long planning is that repay all your loans if you had happened to take uh, a loan repay it all to, to, to keep a good name for yourself, to keep a good reputation for yourself so that you are not blacklisted in the system, in the banks, among people whosoever may have loaned to you, repay in a good time. And also, this um, repayment of loans, it spares one from unwanted interest because an overdue loan attracts so much interest very important repay all your loans a big do not for you do not um get uh old english they call it usually loan sharks avoid loan sharks these are the type of people who 
loan out money in extortionate type of money lending whereby they overcharge the interest and this type of loan shacking is illegal in most countries so avoid that even in the bible it's strictly um discouraged that don't do usually don't do loan shacking in our um, vernacular language we call it caterpillar avoid caterpillar in as much as possible because it will take you lead you to poverty another thing that i want to say only do not do not hide your investments from your spouse this is the woman or man that you married don't stash away some cash to invest elsewhere building a house without your spouse's knowledge buying a car for your relatives without your spouse's knowledge doing things without your spouse's knowledge don't hide information this is your soulmate you've gone in a, a, a covenant before god uh, and before man they know about you respect your marriage so much because if you respect your marriage if you respect your spouse your relatives and the people also will follow suit they will respect the spouse therefore it will lead to your marriage being stronger so guys all the best as you are handling money this is all i wanted to share with you all the best in your ma in your new marriage journey it's an exciting time god bless you the one who studied this with you is gonna see you through until the end of time in good times in bad times till death do your part thank you so much guys uh one thing i want to advertise my services that i offer um i'm also good at uh setting up systems for small businesses if you are in small business you want to set up accounting systems i'm your person you want to set up internal controls in your uh small business i'm your person you like to i also do capacity buildings for accounting staff and finance managers i'm your person i offer tax advice your person if you cannot afford the big big consultancies come to me give me a comment in the comment section below leave your number i'm gonna call you i'm your person we can discuss i'll do that at um, a good price here especially in malawi thank you so much guys i love you so much stay blessed don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also press the like and share this video thank you stay blessed Oh, dude.